How's it going guys? This is my first episode in a um, Minecraft Stadium Reviews series. And this one is from BarryBow11 on YouTube. Just go check out his channel, subscribe to it. He's, uh, he's got his own video on there to show off the stadium. So what I'm doing here is I have four or five different points I want to discuss uh, from structural design to interiors, aesthetics, overall size of the stadium, uh, and, and creativity. I think that's also very important. So let me get up here. Uh, thankfully he's got it in creative, creative mode so I can just move around at will without having to go through all the routes. <laughs> it's such a pain. I know a lot of stadiums have that but come on, go down. There we go. So structurally it's okay. Uh, obviously this, the, the core of the stadium is alright. It looks good enough. But there's no outside wall of it. There's no Nothing like that. Um, there's a little bit, but it's just not enough. And <clears throat> I'll give him one thing that what what little he has is really nice. The checkerboard uh, pattern and design here is really nice, but it just doesn't go all around all the way around the whole stadium, and that's a big big problem to me. So another thing I noticed over here is uh, you see this first doorway here. The steps are flush with the the ground, so you can just walk right up and go inside, but in here, the steps are not not right to the ground, and he really should have extended them, you know, it, I know they're even with the other side, but you need to have it flush with the ground, or maybe that's not the right word, but have it <clears throat> so you can access the steps from the ground without having to jump up. So, structurally, the inside looks really nice, but I would give the structure overall a 2 out of 5, because the outside is just not good enough to me. Uh, oh, I forgot one more thing here. Um, He's got this interior area here, this little quarter. Oh, that's the wrong side. Wait, is it? Shoot. No, it isn't. Okay. He's got that little interior interior area here, and the problem is this doorway here. And maybe he wanted to add more to it, I don't know. But the doorway is the only access to the, this interior here. And the interior looks alright, but you need to have stairs on the outside here to walk up and, and access that door. And it's just... If this was a survival mode or something like that, there was no way to get up here at all. So, two out of five structurally, in my book. Um, aesthetically, I mean, come on, here we go. Aesthetically, uh, what that means it oh my plug's not working here. There we go. Aesthetically, what that means is uh, stadiums talk about having good sight lines. Now, what that means is when you're sitting up high, you need to have a full view of the pitch. And obviously, he doesn't here. It's not that bad. You can still see quite a bit, but not the full view of the pitch. You don't see the bottom lines there unless you're right up against the fence. So aesthetically, it's not that good. Um, you, obviously, the color pans are, pattern's really nice and creative, but um, you need to have that those really good sight lines to have a full 5 out of 5 aesthetically. I would still give it a uh, 3 out of 5 because... The, the color patterns are nice, and it's not that bad of a, of a sight line all the way around. And on the bottom, you have perfect sight lines, but that's just natural. That's all stadiums have that. So, 3 out of 5 for this nice. Now, size-wise, I don't know the proportions for a real soccer stadium one-to-one -one ratio here. Um, oh yeah, the, the goals look really nice too. A nice design here. I like that a lot. But the, the I don't know the exact one-to-one -one ratio for the field. But that said, it's a good size, it's good length, good width. It's a really good size proportionally, so I like it a lot, good size, a lot, four to five. Um, just because I can't give a, a honest, uh, I can give an honest uh, assessment, but I can't give you an informed assessment on it. But good size, actually let me get five out of five because I'm un uninformed. So interior is outstanding, and well, this interior, the locker rooms here are outstanding, and so is the creativity. Creative, creativity is off the board. Five out of five, absolutely. I love these. They kept up the um, the red and blue color pattern here, red and purple, whatever it is. But also the windows on top, just really, really nice designs for the uh, the player locker rooms. And also the piston controlled, uh, the pressure button controlled pistons for the doors, really nice creativity. The locker rooms, there's no visible lighting right here in the ceiling, but there is above the glass here. They're always hidden though, and I like that a lot. Really, really nice creativity. Great stuff. Ooh, I didn't go that far. Great stuff. Uh, creativity is just off the charts. Five out of five completely.
And interior, this is really nice. The other locker rooms are really nice as well. But there are some interior areas that are kind of drab, so I would give the interior a 4 out of 5, just based on the fact that these look here, this here look really, really awesome. So 4 out of 5 for the interiors. And that's about it, guys. Um, overall, my overall score is not an average. I don't think that's fair. So overall score, I would probably give it a 3.5 out of 5. Thanks a lot, guys. That's it. Uh, please enjoy. Um, please be sure to keep watching my channel and because I'm going to have some more reviews coming for different stadiums. And if you want your stadium reviewed, be sure to get in contact with me. Send me your map. I, don't, I can't use schematics, so send me your map and we'll uh, get to your stadiums as soon as possible. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.